Well, how do there, chums? I would say this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Apart from my teacup is empty. I've had my cup of tea. It was freaking lovely. I drank my tea while I was prepping for this to say, hmm, what am I going to tell my viewers today? Anyway, I'm probably going to get a refill anyway halfway through this because I'm going to put it into fragments because there's a lot that I need to say. So, basically, whenever there's an update on the horizon for No Man's Sky, there's something I tend to do on my PlayStation 5. Now, I've got PlayStation Plus, so I can go onto here, and I can go to Upload and Download Save Data. Okay, so if I go into here, you'll see the last time that I actually did that was some time ago, back on the 3rd of the 11th. Well, I'm just going to make sure that I've uploaded my save data just in case something goes horrifically wrong then i can revert back to today you know so there you go i'm going to upload that so we've updated sometimes there are bugs we know this is a thing so just prep prep for those bugs anyway next i'm going to jump into game i'm going to talk about some of the things that i think could be on the horizon inside of the update for no man's sky i mean this is speculation part so you're gonna have to bear with me here okay i'll be right back Right now, chums, now I'm over at the Quicksilver Merchant. I like to call him Johnny Five because, you know, the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion is quite a mouthful. Now, you can see his progress bar at the top there is almost there for the next decal that he has for us to unlock and buy with our hard and Quicksilver. OK, so we've already got this one. That's fine. But just keep in mind, you see that like the actual image of what it is. It's like the Atlas, you know, in a red background. With a flight decal, that one's fine. That one's got the correct image, but this one hasn't. The Outlaw System decal should have that purple skull Outlaw System decal. However, you can see there, it quite clearly shows a universal heartbeat decal inside of the window. I mean, it, it, it's broken, basically, is what I'm saying. Now, the depots over on the Steam DB have updated. I'm going to bring them up in a moment, people, and show you. I guess I will. Uh, what's going on over there but part of me was wondering whether it might just be a patch fix to fix that decal before it's actually available for us inside the view of us but we get to why i don't think that's the case in a moment so i'll be right back yet again okay chums well i'm over on steam db right now people and as you can see here the public one and the experimental branches were both two months ago however the internal branch was updated only 16 hours ago, people. Now, if it was a patch to fix the decal that I was thinking, I would have half expected them to push it out to experimental, not so soon after the internal branch, because they'd be happy to put it over. They would test it first in internal, but if it was just a couple of fixes or patches, I'd expect to have seen it gone live in experimental, for the experimental users to at least test so yeah i think it's something slightly bigger sadly i'm not too sure how you see how big this internal branch update is i mean if i click into here i don't think it gives you i know people in the past have actually shown images of how big these updates are so yeah who knows though but anyways I believe that there is an update on the horizon since the internal branch has been updated 16 hours ago. I'm half expecting to see a few internal branches going live over the next couple of days because I don't think they can start another Steam sale quite yet. I think they've got to wait until the 17th of November before they can put another Steam sale on. Reason being, I've put a video up there, go hit that up because I've said it all before inside of there, but basically there's a rule on Steam that you can't put a sale live until 30 days after your last sale ended, and their last sale ended on the 18th of October, which means they've got to wait till the 17th of November before they can do another sale. That's the basic premise, but there's more information in that video that I just linked, so go and hit that up. Okay, something that I feel could be inside of the update is not so long ago, Hello Games left in a very curious folder inside of the game files, which was Space Station B. So the Space Stations that we've got now are Type A, and these were going to be Space Station Type B. Now, I'm wondering whether these might appear inside of iteration in the similar sort of way the Echo Camps do. We've got to use some sort of weird device that makes them appear this way, and perhaps they might have more of a link to perhaps the Echoes. But a lot of these sort of new space stations, they almost look like they're made up of 
parts of like colossal archives you know that they're, they're freaking awesome they do look pretty darn epic they really do um but yeah a lot of people are saying well i don't think these could come over to perhaps a nintendo switch they look far too complicated but you've got to think the nintendo switch can display colossal archives on planets and these are just made up from the outside of Colossal Archives. Now, I am hoping that they overhaul the interior of these things as well. I mean, I did a video on, on what I think of these space station type bees some time ago, people. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link up there that showcases these new space stations. But you've also got to think, inside of space, Hello Games doesn't have to render everything that's complicated on the planet. I mean, even when you're flying around space, everything is a lot more, you know, streamlined. You don't get the frame skips or frame jumps as much inside of space. It's only when you start flying down into the planet's atmosphere that you get popping, you get load and all that sort of stuff. Inside of space, it doesn't have to render all of that. So, of course, I think they can bring these space stations to the likes of Nintendo Switch. Heck, Nintendo Switch has got the giant Mega Dreadnoughts, haven't they? I know that they do have problems uh, rendering in the whole frigate fleet and also your freighter, depending on how complex your freighter base is. So I do know that there are some restrictions on Nintendo Switch that could cause a problem if they impl implemented these super awesome space stations. But when we was flying around these super awesome space stations using a mod that was on Nexus Mods, it was pretty darn smooth. In fact, let's just hit this video up inside of YouTube. I'm not too sure whose this one is, but we'll just jump on over there quickly. I'll just mute it and we'll just have it in the background. So at least you've got something going on. Oh, it's Professor Cynical. OK, well, let's see if we can get over to his space stations. There you go. I'll just skip it over to his space stations. Make that a bit larger on screen while I'm talking. In fact, you know what? Let's let's make me a little bit larger on screen while I'm talking. We'll just have that in the background there. So you can sort of see them going on in the background. Let me just get rid of that. That game image on the screen as well one second and boom there we go i think we're good to talk so yeah these large space stations pretty darn freaking epic pretty darn nice and you'll see here professor cynical is actually flying through all the struts and all that sort of stuff on this actual space station and you can see how smooth it is there's no frame drops there he is on a pc i don't know how high end um, professor cynical's pc is mine's about mid-range and I didn't get any frame skips. I didn't get any sort of lag or anything like that when I'm flying around these. They're beautifully optimized. Okay, so that's what it comes down to is optimization. Now you can see there's a planet in the background. Of course, it doesn't have to render all the trees or foliage or anything like that until you get close for the distance draw. And then you'll get the pop in for there. I honestly don't think this is going to push the likes of the Nintendo Switch to its upper threshold of crashing and spluttering and dying. But, you know, I'm not I'm not a technical wizard. I mean, I know that they haven't got settlements. So if they haven't got settlements, are they going to struggle with these giant space stations? I would like to hope that Hello Games can optimise them to the point that Nintendo Switch can enjoy them. However, if Nintendo Switch can't have them, they could just put in all the old space stations like you're seeing in the background here for Nintendo Switch, couldn't they? You know, it could be a next-gen and PC thing, just like settlements are. So, of course, I think they can deliver this into the actual verse and bring it into the mass majority of players. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Nintendo Switch is inside of that remit. So there we go. I'm hoping that we get to see these giant space stations appear in iteration and along with it, a use of the space station overrides. What that might bring to the space stations, I don't know your guess is as good as mine but speculation i would like to hope it makes the space stations a little bit more modular i hope you can maybe own a space station or even claim it as a hub that gets registered against the galactic atlas to make hubs more of a thing inside of game or perhaps even make it so um you know oh and look it's actually showed a little gek icon on there i don't know where he's got a mission objective open right now professor cynical or whether that denotes that it could be a gek space station hadn't noticed that before until now but anyway maybe they could make factions and guilds more of a thing inside of the space stations the guild envoy right now has done nothing since the dawn of time really apart from giving you the odd trinket It'd be nice to get some more guild or faction related missions that actually feel different to the missions that we have now and actually feel meaningful to what we're doing perhaps even increase trade routes between the space stations things like that i'd like to see a massive trade update to be honest because we've had we've had combat and survival enhanced for the last year or so we've had expert Exploration enhanced when it comes to the likes of Origins and two new biomes added. They haven't really done too much around trade 
It'd be nice if we could have our own player-driven shops or markets inside of game. A lot of games do that. I can't see why they couldn't do something similar inside of this. I'd love to just have an egg shop. A lot of players didn't pick up all the eggs from the different quicksilvery type stores or from the expeditions. The expedition reward eggs, like, you know, the little monstrosity pet and stuff like that. Or even the little flying head pet that we've got now, the little robot flying head. I could ha just have a store full of those eggs and sell them for, you know, 50 quicksilver an egg or something. You know, it'd be a good way for me to get passive income when it comes to quicksilver. That'd be pretty nice. Anyways, people, I hope we get to see these new space stations come into game is what I'm saying. Well, OK, so something that I think could be inside of the update is when you go into your catalogue and you go into like your discovery where well, you go into here and you go into wonders. Now you can see here it says 36 of 78. OK, well, let me just jump on in here. Let me just jump on in here and I'll show you something a little bit unusual with that. OK, so on this first page, the only one I haven't got is this one. OK. That's the only one I haven't got is this one. I don't think it's in game. I've tried as hard as I might and I can't find it. If you guys in the viewer have found it, let me know. Yeah, let me know where you found it as well. Anyway, if I go to collecting glitches, got all of them, completed that set. Thank you, this is like Pokemon. Got them all. Yep, planetary records, got them all. Fauna records, got them all. Flora records, got them all. Mineral records, got them all. Personal records, I don't think actually count, but I've populated pretty much all of them apart from one, two, three, four, five. So five plus the one that I haven't got on the very first screen, the treasures, is six. But when you look at this, it says I've got 36 of 78. Even if I added the six onto the 36 there, what's that, 42? Yeah, there's a whole freaking swathe of wonders missing. So I honestly think, in the next update, we're probably going to have a total count of 78 added into the Wonders. And that's quite interesting. I honestly think we're going to be given quite a lot more to explore and to catalogue for our Wonders area of this sort of Pokedex. Now, there's others that I haven't quite managed to achieve. It's like collected knowledge. 487 of 572. OK, so if I was to go through all of this, I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure what I've got that might be missing. You know, I mean, I've, I've got all of this sort of stuff in here. I've got all. I've learned all the freaking words. I've learned all the words, mate. So I'm not too sure what I'm actually missing inside of here. It'd be nice to know exactly what I need to go and find. But yeah, I almost feel that I've got all of this too. I mean, I went through all of this stuff. So who freaking knows? I've learned all the words anyway. I've maxed them all out. So. I don't know what I'm missing and what I'm not missing in there, people. But again, 487 to 572, could it be that they might add in some more collected knowledge? Technology blueprints, I honestly thought I knew all of those as well. I mean, there's the Artemis translator, which I just don't see the point in having. I mean, that one's greyed out. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I've already got in here too. So I, I don't know. I haven't gone through every single one of these. Vesper sale. What's the actual fudge? A hide from falling. Oh, okay. All right, fine. I mean, there's a couple of things that I could probably do inside of here, people. There's probably a few things that I'm still left to actually complete, I guess, then. But yeah, that might give me something to do. I can go through here. But anyway, it's the wonders one and maybe the collected knowledge that I think are the main two there, people. Um, building parts, well, maybe that's the Quicksilver items that we're still to unlock. There's a whole load of new decals in there and stuff. I, I'm not too far off of hitting that one. I'm not overly fussed, to be fair. But at the same time, I am curious. I am curious. But yeah, recipes, I know there's a load of recipes I haven't done. But it's these two things here, the Collected Knowledge and Wonders. I'm honestly, I honestly think the next update is going to give us a little bit more in these two areas because I kind of feel that I've completed both of these as far as I can. And I feel that these total measures might need a little bit more completion. Hello Games' side. What do you think? And what do yours say? Are yours about the same as mine? Let me know. Something I'd also like to see come into iteration, people, is another expedition. Now, I'm thinking something a bit like the Emergence Expedition that we had in the past, where it brought in a lot of sort of lore around sort of like the giant worms and the infestation that we see inside of the verse. But I'm hoping more of an expedition around the new autophages and also the Void Mother that then brings and leaves something inside of game. 
It's like emergence. We got all those worm babies, all the sort of worm nests brought into iteration, and they got left inside of iteration. A little bit like Leviathan and the giant space Leviathans and things like that. I would like to hope to see an expedition around the Void Mother, around the Autophages, that then leaves something inside of game for players to enjoy for time to come. Around the Autophages and the Void Mother, obviously. Perhaps even going to Corvax Prime, which is now known as Void Prime. Maybe there could be some sort of raid system where we go to this planet and we can get a load of Void tech. Maybe it ties into the Wonders Catalogue. Talking of which, the Wonders Catalogue is something else that I think might get updated inside this update, which we'll get on to in a moment. So yeah, I'm hoping also maybe, given the players the ability to rerun the expeditions any time they like, because now this is on so many different platforms, so many different platforms haven't managed to run all of those expeditions. So Redux any time of the expeditions is something that I really hope they put into iteration. And talking of how they could implement the Reduxes inside of game, well there's quite a lot of NPCs inside of the actual Nexus. In fact, there's about 12 of them, okay? Now how many expeditions have we had? We've had 11, but we could be due one more. Now what's to stop us from interacting with, say, one of these NPCs, and maybe they could offer up a, a, a one of the expeditions. It's like talking to Ariadne right here, could say, okay, do you want to rerun the Emergence expedition? Just saying, you know, I could go to a different NPC and they could offer me one of the other expeditions, and they could have them on offer all the time. So all those people that didn't get to get the Golden Vector or to get one of the exotic pets that I mentioned earlier will be able to get them anytime they want from running the Redux just by interacting with NPCs inside of the Nexus. It does make you wonder, because the count is about right, they could implement it that way, couldn't they? They really could. It'd be nice to have NPC backstories and find out how they came to be. It's like I'm talking to Tephus right here. It'd be nice to get a Tephus-y type backstory. How did he become... On the anomaly, they just appeared one day. But why? Why are they here? It'd be nice if they each had their own backstory, a little bit like the Artemis quest line that we could partake in, maybe get a rare resource, or at least get their visage and maybe some of their other bits and bobs that we get on these guys. It'd be pretty darn sweet. I think that could be a welcome addition into game as well, people. So yeah, that's everything that I feel could be coming into the iteration inside of this update. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings. Sound on off inside of the comments. Let us know what you think could be coming inside of this update. I mean, I honestly think it's going to be an expedition with a small bolt-on update that might improve perhaps the space stations. And that's only going by what got leaked inside of the game files. But then there's a lot of people that would say... Maybe those space stations are going to come in a much larger update next year. Perhaps they're saving the best till last, you know? And maybe it's going to be a colossal, massive update next year. And then maybe they're going to announce their new IP. Because we all know they're working on a new intellectual property. There's a game that's equally as ambitious, if not more so ambitious, than No Man's Sky, which is quite tantalising. I hope next year is the year that Hello Games reveal what they've been working on. But this is everything that I think has a chance has a chance of being inside of the actual update. I've not gone too speculation heavy. I've kept it in the realms of what I feel is plausibility and feasibility. I mean, there's a load of things I could say that I'd love to see. I mean, I'd love to see you know, ship-related missions and perks, because at the moment all the ships feel the same. You don't really get ship-orientated missions. You know, it's like maybe having a shuttle to taxi somebody to A to B, or having a hauler to do a smuggler's run, or having really in-depth bounties if, if you're in a fighter. Those sort of things, and maybe perks related to ships. You know, that sort of stuff I would love to see come in. And maybe even ship customization, because it's something I've really enjoyed doing inside of the likes of Starfield people. Anyway, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.